League is an incredibly fast paced game. It's really hard to understand while we're playing a game, all of the information being thrown at us, all of the stimulus happening all across the map, and then, you know, what our potential options are given all of the available information. In the moment, it's important that we're able to kind of focus on what we need to focus on, do it and do it well. And then in the review afterwards, it's important to remove ourselves from the moment and think more logically about all of the available information and see, did we choose the right situation? And if we didn't, how can we bridge that gap? Today, I wanna to share with you guys a coaching session I had with one of my master's clients who's working on becoming a consistent Master Plus client and climbing through our LPs in Master Plus. And we talk a lot about, you know, part of you has to be able to play the game well and focus during the game. And then we have to, after the game, be able to detach from that and analyze the game ourselves and kind of see all of the different options and really challenge ourselves and say, you know, did we choose the right thing? If we didn't, how can we get ourselves to choose the right thing in the next situation? So I hope you guys enjoy this coaching. This coaching was streamed on my Twitch. So make sure you guys check out my Twitch uh, in the description. We stream sessions like this all the time. Otherwise, join my Discord and more coaching information is of course in the description. Hope you all enjoy the video. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Okay. I mean, I got a good little list. I'm excited to see how many of these things you thought about in the review. I'll be honest. I mean, I told you this game was kind of like, I had a really good KD, but I didn't feel actively like involved with it. I think this is one of my 50, 50 games. Oh yeah. This is a fucking nightmare. What's happening right now. Are you watching the dive? Nope. No, 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 no. Wait, there's a dive. Oh no. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, I blessed no. Kiana with an opportunity to come back because I was so generous. Well, you're behind. So she must have blessed you bigger. Probably did. Yeah, you're actually... Okay, I'm actually calling it here. If this was my own game, I'm calling the review. At this point, you... This is insane. We're Let's down. We're down a it. kill from Kiana. Okay, so at this point, six minutes and a half into the game, we are losing. All right, well, walk me... How did this even happen? Start, start so, to finish. it's a good question. It's a good question. How did it happen? Um, okay. Did you watch this first part just now as well? Um, I watched, I cut it off. Like I was kind of taking notes about my game plan and stuff like that. Okay. Wasn't really fully. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to play it from like a fast forward and tell me when you have something that you want to talk about that you think is worth questioning because the point of a review and something that I just caught when, when you were trying to, when you were talking about your plays is you kept explaining your thought process and that's like, that's fine. But the point of a review is to challenge your thought process. Yeah. So I want you to fair. explain how you're wrong. That's, that's how the reviews have to be. You have to go into it, assuming that everything you did was wrong and you're trying to prove yourself wrong and you're trying to, you know what I mean? That's you, big. you have to be your biggest critic. You have yeah, to be. That's big. So tell me when there's something that we can challenge. Okay, do you want to put it on like 2x? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could probably. Here, we'll even do this for now. All right. Nothing? Pause me already. Nothing? Well, dude, I told you. So the CSing stuff is like, I have. It took, I played three years yes. with different attack yes. speed, you know? So your CSing sucked, sure. That's an easy thing to challenge, right? We can just okay. hit tab and say, you're four for 10. Get yeah, better, bro. Huge, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, I, I don't know. You, you're CSing in the easiest possible vacuum you possibly can. Like she's not pressuring you at all. You're four, it's not four for 10, you're four for eight. You missed half of the minions so far. It's like, okay, that's easy to challenge. Hard life, yeah. There's something else as well though. You think this is ideal? Where I am, like, as far back as I am. Mm-hmm. And you can maybe argue at this current frame it is, but That's how, what I how did we say. get here? Um, I mean, run it back 30 seconds. So, I mean, I know what you're going to, like, what we're thinking about here. Um, Were there my... any auto-attack opportunities? On Kiana? Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, I, pl I proc she was here. blades, right? And, yeah, she was here, and then she walked to here. Was at level one. Yeah. With zero autos. Yeah, right? That's true. That's really yucky. 
And that Dude, I was Well hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't care about the actual mistake. The mistake isn't the point here. The point is, why didn't you tell me that? Yeah. You were explaining like that you were not able to last hit because you can't play your champion, but you're not explaining that you're in the middle of fucking nowhere against a level one melee assassin for like what is this? Right? So I mean let me just tell you my my thoughts here. Okay. Because okay. I have played about 120 games <clears throat> since the first set of nerfs that came out and the second set i've probably played about 50 60 games okay and i've also been vod reviewing um kennedy's vods and mm -hmm. body these fools i've been watching he drops a video a day and okay. these first waves until he gets two points into his w both of these master players are taking zero risk at all. They're they're not engaging at all. Absolutely. I think that's yeah. correct because we don't really have kill threat. So now the question is, were you on the line, right? Because if we're saying they're taking zero risk, there is a line of like the most space you can take without zero risk. So now the question is, yeah. were you on that line? They, um... That's that's a good point. I I, I could have autoed here for sure. One hundred percent. And again, I don't care about the mistake. Like this is very very high level stuff. And even the best of the best players will miss small things like this. So it's it's fine to miss it, but it's really important you see it. Because yeah. once you can see it and you have it in your own notes, then it's whatever. Then it's like okay, yeah. we can work on it. But the fact and you didn't even mention this, me, this is a big red flag. And is it just because of the number of minions that I have? It's because she was level one. What is she gonna do to you? Like if she if she starts E, she gets solo killed at level one. She's probably started a W. As long as you're not in range for her to W and then auto, you're completely fine. But that means you can be like here. Yeah, I can be. I'm she still can't hit you. Out. Now that she's level two, it's different. Now you do have to be here. But she got here and took Let's nothing. Let's watch that level one then. And Let's she hit level, level two one. for free. Let me see the the very <clears> first <throat> moment here. Okay. Can we go in like 0.5 speed? Actually, no, one's fine. Yeah, yeah. My we, god, one is so slow. Yeah, yeah. We'll start from the very beginning. And I actually liked wave one. That's, I mean, that's why I didn't. Even this, I'm actually okay with. And there's a reason why this is better than the other one. So let's see, can you figure that out as well? This is, okay. I, this is like very high quality. But let's keep watching. Good. I love this. This is fantastic. Did you see it? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Chat, what do you guys think? Purgence, are you here? Oh, I hit level two. I hit level two. Yeah, you have this massive advantage now okay, in terms dude, of... So hit my character. Hit my character real quick. Okay. Well, like, I have one W charge. Yep. And I have 300 mana. My combo costs 110 mana. I don't want, so I don't want you to combo her. I do not want you to combo her. Because what if you, you combo her, here? if you combo her, you accidentally crash this wave. And we don't want that. We want to crash wave three. So... I just want you to not let her hit level two. Yes, Purgence typed it. He said, just zone her. Exactly, Purgence. Just zone her. Just stand here. The only way you'll hit her is if she walked like a fucking psychopath like she did. But you don't You don't want to hit her. You just don't want her to hit level two because then she gains range. So you okay. just stand here and you're just like... You're like, Kiana, I'm crashing three on your head. You either have to come into me, in which case you'll just kill her, or she's going to take the three crash. Now, fortunately, you're playing against a diamond player who just wants to hit the wave and thinks Pryo is winning. So, like, she, she ends, up, it ends up not mattering. But you got to be able to see it. And Makes that's sense. the point of today, is that I don't care about what we're talking about. I care that you could see the own stuff. you like your own stuff. Yep. Purgence is saying, threaten your combo and don't do it. Exactly, Purgence. Beautiful. Oh, uh, dude, I have been thinking about that a lot, bro on uh mainly when i've been playing my own games that's the the threat yes. of what you can do because they know what you're able yes. to do and the threat but it's so hard not to just because on azir i used to be able to just like 
fuck a threat. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd have a stacked mana <laughs> flow band and unlimited mana, and I would always combo. Uh, yeah, yeah. But and no that's, cope. E no even, cope. even back in the day, that would be a mistake because even with old Azir, if you do that combo here, you accidentally crash two on her head, and then you're in a much worse spot because this is ideal wave management, crashing three on her head. We have to talk. So we have to talk about crashing three. Can you show me some some higher level gameplay about level three crashes and stuff, and just narrate what's going on? Um. Yeah. The most common time is into these hard melee assassins, like uh, like Kian on Carrier. So I bet if we go look up a game, let's just look up like a random. Who's the most meta control mage right now? Victor, Syndra. Yeah, it's Victor. All right, let's do Syndra. Let's see what they do here. Hey, they don't do it every game. Oh, but she has first strike. So I'm guessing this is a game where she will. It's tricky because she's into release, which increases your gank threat. So if you don't, this is why you don't do it. But yeah, let's speed this up. She's so actually- what's happening. She's crashing too. She doesn't want to fuck with wave three. <laughs> This is, yeah. So she's building up a wave. And the reason I would do this. Now, when you're at this level, it's important. You recognize there are different options. And the person's not necessarily always right. So why don't you tell me the advantage to crashing two and the advantage to crashing three? On In this particular game? Yep. Or just in general? Yep, for Syndra in this game. Okay, so... The advantage to crashing two is that you're less prone to gank threat, I think, because Elise will... Can you give me a very specific example? Very specific reason? And so Goblin, you crash, you're, you're a Masters you crash, player, so I gotta... Yeah, if, if you crash two, three is gonna be right at where you have crash three, usually, written down. Mm -hmm. That's where three is gonna be, and then the lane is way it's longer back to you. for... There's a well, specific timer you, but... that crash two dodges. Oh, um... Dude, I have no idea. Okay, so when you crash two, you dodge the 230 three camp timer. Three camp. What the fuck are we? Sorry, excuse my language. Dude, I'm not going to, none of this is going to be usable if I don't chill out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. What, bro, what is a 230 three camp timer? So when at least three camps, that comes out around 230, right? This is a very important timer to kind of have in our brain. So if you crash two, Three is coming back before this. This means you can get vision before this three camp can come out. So if you can be safe from the three camp, what do you have to be scared of then? What's the only other That's way true. she can gank you? Um, is if she just one camp ganks? Yes, exactly. And we call that a level two. If she just goes buff, she hits level two and she ganks. And that happens with the first wave. It's already gone. She knows she's in no threat. She's going to crash and go ward. Exactly. Right. So that's and why is crashing the benefit, is... Is the benefit of crash three that you get level three and you don't have to like worry about the long lane state or like no she because three before you or what yes that? yes 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 three is her biggest point her biggest power point you completely neutralize her three power spike so the crashing two is like neutralizing the high threat jungler crashing three is like neutralizing the high threat laner that's kind of like the idea in this game here it looks like she's terrified of Elise. Some high ELO stuff that we're talking about, dude. Yeah, that's what we're getting no into, man. Admit. That's what we're getting into. Um, yeah, so she crashes too. She's gonna get a, going to go get a ward. Oh, she already warded Raptors, actually. She doesn't necessarily need a ward. Um, now, this is another thing that I actually stole from Dopa. I wonder if I can find a Dopa bot where he does it. Where they'll half crash too. And they actually, you get the best of both worlds. Where if you can get the melee minions in tower range, but your third, your second and third waves sit here, you maintain prio so they can't leave. You get to poke them and you get to go ward before 2.30. Okay. That's so pretty fire. There's like a half crash best of both worlds situation as well. Um, okay. But anyways. I think what I end up accidentally doing more often than not is that half crash thing. But and that's that's probably the best. That's probably the best. But I don't know why I do it. Yes. Like I don't that's, do it on that's purpose. That's the thing. I yeah. I try to crash at three. <clears throat> so yeah this is fantastic to me this looks very beautiful it's scary she's just hit three so now you have to be terrified because if you get ganked right now you're fucked even yeah. by karthus right yeah um but you crash it fantastic life is great and then we just chill okay 
Um, let's see what else is going on. So, Heck. is there anything to think about about this? This bot hover. I honestly just improper thought process on where Karthus was gonna path. I thought he was gonna. I don't think they had vision of me, and I thought they no, they, they absolutely going... didn't. Yeah, I thought he was gonna path up to scuttle, and I wanted to be there to kill. Okay. Um, how much did you lose for this? So much, bro. Yeah. You lose. I... Yeah, you lose a good amount. Can you hover on this crab without losing all that? Um, if I just hug the bot side of my lane, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Also, yeah. why are we here? Like, what do we gain from this? Because we're, we're always comparing. If you if you choose to go here, you lost like half, you lost like three or four minions. We could go back and count. And when you're reviewing, you probably should. Just to be very clear. But, you know, let's just say you lost three minions. Is this bot hover worth more than the three minions? And why? What are you threatening? Yeah. That's true. What's true? Tell, tell me what we're threatening. Nothing. I mean, <laughs> okay. essentially, no. That's well. And yeah, why are we threatening nothing? And why did you think you were threatening something? Like, there's clearly a difference between what the you're doing gin. and what you're thinking. Right. So originally the play was the Jin. I wanted to be there. Yeah. If the Jin walked up like three more mm -hmm. seconds, he would have been dead. Mm -hmm. um, and why didn't he, he walk up? Three seconds, because he, he probably saw I was gone. No, I don't think so. Or nope. fiddle, maybe? Nope, I don't think so either. Let's rewind. Let's go back to like here. Oh, his support was dead. Okay. Yeah, his support was dead and he got a kill. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's nothing like, to play right? for. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing he, to play for. He's out. He will so never right there, go up. Right here, I can walk back up mid. 100%. Okay, and then let's see how much I don't lose if I do that. If we can hover on the wave. Let's, uh... And I'm not sure if we've already lost some of these caster minions. Well, we lost two, but I would have mm -hmm. lost those either way if I leave. I w the only way I don't lose them is if I don't leave. Okay. I lose one. So lose one minion. You lose the second one. And then she guarantees gets to crash this. Actually, she doesn't because you have the fiddle hover, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, so you lose two or three minions. And for like pretty much zero threat. And that's something yeah. to think about. Is, yeah. do you think the players you're playing with will walk here? Uh, I don't know, right? I don't think I took Something it a to step about. far enough with the, with the gin. So like, I guess the thought process there then is it's like mainly what's the gin thinking about, right? The yep. gin got his kill. The gin so. will never be in threat. The trap on the Karthus is good. Because maybe if Karthus yeah. greeds, he dies. But if you're paying a lot of attention, You'll, no, and you'll I don't of... need to be there for the Karthus. I can I can hover and then move down because I have yeah. Cryo if I stay in lane. Right. Even, exactly. Even with no mana. And now, Kiana leaves, and I think it takes us like seven years to ping. If we ping at all. Yeah, I think I don't ping this. Oh, yeah, we straight up I... don't ping. Well, dude, him and I are talking the whole time. The poor, you know? the and poor Renekton, he's... man. The poor Renekton. Okay, going off of what you said, right? The I'm I'm trying to work on conserving the energy a little bit, and and I mean that in a non lazy conserving way. Conserving the energy. No, I mean that in a non lazy way. I'm in voice chat with the fiddle, yep. so him and I are communicating about this. Top is backed, and the wave is shoving into bot. So I know that there's not really a play right now. And right. I, know that she, I she agree. Had the, so I'm just I, a stickler I, for pings. I'm no, gonna show I you. No, and I promise. In, in these other games where like, like where I'm not in voice chat, I think at least they're way better. What I'm trying to get at is like, pings are really important always. Um, and even in competitive, you should be pinging more than you're talking. And it's because we're league players. Pings are built into our brain. What you're saying to this fiddle is up to interpretation. But like pinging yeah. danger and, and whatever. But pinging should be a default. It's scary when your default isn't to ping. Like I don't, there's no good reason to not ping. This, yeah, that's right. That's true. So I'm just gonna show you an LCS game. This was um, what was this? Beginning of season 11, when the like three Koreans and LS came to play on Cloud9, or LS was coaching and the three Koreans were playing. Half these guys don't speak English. Like Berserker and Isles, like they didn't, they just didn't speak English. And if you listen to one of their team fights, the only thing they're talking about is like pigeon English. Like they're just saying like, oh, kill here, kill here, go, 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 stop, stop, die, uh, good job. Like that's it. 
Everything else is in pings. Jeez. If you say anything more than that, it's complicated. You, you, it's always up to interpretation. This is a big thing I had to deal with in collegiate is like when somebody says, hey, my lane's over, that can mean a million different things, right? Yeah. It can mean they yeah. don't have prior. So here, I'm going to link you this clip, mostly because it's funny. And also it's partially relevant. Um, it's at about a minute and a minute 30. Are you want me to watch it right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to watch it with, uh, with chat as well. Yeah, game, game is GG, okay? No uh, die, GG. Yeah. Yes, yes. I know. Uh, slow. Need slow. slow. I, I want, I want recall. Go, go. Right, oh, yeah, the fight sucks about one minute. Victor die. I kill, I kill, I kill. It's actually pigeon. Victor die. Victor die. Slow, slow. I think it's good. Oh, I kill, I kill. Okay, okay, nice, nice, nice. I win, I win. Oh, nice to team get. Uh, <laughs> I love that clip. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice to team gap. Um, okay. We're going to keep it running. <clears throat> oh yeah. The next stuff is really big. So let's see if you can see it. We got your first pings. Yay. I don't think you did, big dog. You right did. Here. Yeah, you, you just, did. just now. Yeah, just now. But I will say it was with intent, though. You know, True. I knew, I, I knew I like something it. was fucking. I knew something was was possible there. And then I go back here. Probably, I'm okay with the back right now. Let's see what happens to the wave. That teleport. <laughs> I probably <sighs> don't teleport here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so talk me through that. What happens if you don't teleport? Good thought. Good thought. What happens if you don't teleport? She has. Like, look at the whole no. map. Uh, I have to teleport because you the, have to yeah. teleport. But it's a uh, cannon. Dude. Do you want to teleport here? Butthole. No. It's like no. The teleport sucks, but like you have to. It's like oh, it sucks, but you have to. Why are we yeah. in this spot in the first place? How do you fix it? Um. Do I slow push the wave? Just don't back. Like yeah, if you just don't back, you don't do this. Now, you overstayed when Kiana backed here. You can back here for free. Lane is fine. These guys are safe. Like, they crashed, they're safe. What's my gold? What's Fiddle my stick, gold? Fiddlestick, safe. Top, safe. 900. Yeah, I don't need to be staying. I don't need to stay here at yes. all. Yes, 100% you should back. 100% you should have back. to back here. Put this on if 2x you, here, what do I do? If you do don't do? back... Bro, there's hit, no way I stay here. You hit though. your S key and you hang out. What?! <laughs> Dude, I stayed? And this then you push. Uh, okay, and this is like, it's a little bit awkward, right? It's, it's like, ah, it's, you know, not ideal. And then you back. Your bot lane has committed to playing aggressive and your fiddlesticks is now coming on the map. And you're in base. What? Damn, dude. And again, I don't care about the specific mistake, but you couldn't see that? Yeah, bro, that's tough. We need to see it. We need to see it. That's all I care about today. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's... And so the, I guess the big takeaway is when I'm backing, where are my people at? And that determines if the TP happens or not. No, and it's not that simple, that, Goblin. Okay. You, you wish it was that simple. You are a master's player. You have to take into account everything. Where your people are at, where the enemy people are at, gold values, XP breakpoints, next possible play everything the game is holistic if you were my oh, silver client i would be like yeah man just uh yeah, back when kiana dude. does no we, we don't get simple rules the game's complicated yeah. okay that's true the game's so complicated but yeah there's that's no there's true. no simple rules anymore there's no simple rules chat's loving this by the way there's a bunch of high low people in chat and they're they're saying they're enjoying this so that's awesome Ribbons as masters. Freaking Perkins as masters. Well, no, Perkins and Ribbons are probably enjoying it because this is very relevant for all of us. All of us. Okay. Um, and then Kiana gets a top Bro, kill. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, hang on. Have I still not backed? And I this backed. is no, you backed and you Bro! Did I? Okay, 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 okay. And this is where I said, like, you're down a kill, a worst of gold to to this Kiana, even after the plate. So you grab the plate. You're still down a kill. And this is like, this is insane, right? 
Hell of a so, plate, though. The old me wouldn't have taken that. I gotta say. Wait, what would old you have done? That's the interesting. Old me would have just chilled out while Kiana got the kill. <laughs> smoked the bowl. We'd down and... two kills. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Woo. So, that's So, how kind did Kiana of... get this kill? Let's, let's talk about that real quick. Well, she's going to get this kill anyways. So it's not how do you prevent Kiana getting this kill, it's how do you not, like, why are you in such a weird-ass spot where you can't get anything as equal value? And that's another part of this game in high elo. Sometimes it's not just denying the, uh, uh, like, denying the opponent's opportunity. Sometimes it's missing opportunity. This is unique to high elo. In low elo, very rarely do we talk about missed opportunity. We talk about, like, solidifying. Like, stop dying, CS more, catch the wave. But here, you missed opportunity when you took your shit back. So, yeah. you don't get anything to trade here. So, it's not like you gave Kiana this kill. You just weakened this part of the map that Kiana's up a kill now. Rather than being, you know, even in that relative map pressure. Okay, fair. Okay, cool. And okay. this is what I mean by, like, we won the game here just because of the fiddle. Like... He just kept the fiddle was a GM player who had a kid, and this was oh like, yeah yeah the, this is like first game back. I just randomly met him in solo queue, and he's like, "Yeah, dude, I'm like better than like 95 percent of these people. Um, we're just gonna dive this Kiana on repeat when I hit six, and that's like exactly what he did, and like she just died every single time. Yeah, I um neutralize the pressure that's gonna be I caused me in the leak. Years. he plugged it up yeah. um but no 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 and again these are things that i have hmm we're gonna no, go no, on I'm saying, dude, we're gonna have to dive deep bro these yes not like... and we're going to go into another vault and we're gonna do the same thing but i want to be very clear you don't think about this in the game there should be two different dope goblins so there should be like one goblin that's the player and this player is this is the guy who's really in tune with his feelings. He knows when he's too excited and he can calm down. He's really um he's really confident in the moments. He's very like um free flowing. He's very like all of these things. That's the player. But then after the game, there has to be like this analyst. And the yeah. analyst is able to objectively analyze situation, which is the so different. Is not me. I it's so different. Saying. Yes, it's two different skill sets. Okay. And then you have to get these to kind of interface with each other. So right now we're working on the analyst. The player is going to complain about your teammates and whatever. And honestly, you deserve to as a player. And I will be okay with hearing it if I also hear the analyst. If I hear the, you know what I mean? I need to at least, if yeah, we're not yeah. writing down these things from this game, I don't know. It's a shit ton of minions. Like, I don't oh, fudge. And yeah. this is this is what we're gonna do for the next one, okay? And okay. it's gonna be a good game. And listen, the player is pumped about that game, and I'm pumped for the player about that game. 